Okay, back where we were with a new save this time, right here, just in case. We need to get the letter out of the trunk. Alexander inserts Alexander open. Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed greetings to a... To. It seems... That it looks like... The that fiend! It's the same as that letter as last time. And also, we need to open this thing. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Ali Zebu. Now we need to go check out that magical door. Alexander crawls back. out there. <laughs> okay. Now then, we need to talk to this door. Since the door on the west wall has no visible knob or handle, Alexander decides to try to open it with his voice. He composes his words carefully. Listen, door. I would have you open. Ali Zebu. Uh. It worked. Now, once again, just in case. That's not the button I wanted. Let's replace this one. Hmm, what a suspicious looking lumpy table. A small table graces the middle of the room. The table is covered by a velvet drapery. The initials AA are embroidered on the drapery. AA? That must stand for Abdul Alhazred. Alcoholic Anonymous? Alexander pulls the drapery aside, curious as to what might lie underneath. Disc, disc. On the table are four unusual items. On the table is a miniature oak tree. It looks very old. Hmm. That must be the sacred miniature oak that the druids thought the winged ones stole. On the table is a coat of arms with the head of a beast on the crest. Hmm. Beast said that his coat of arms was stolen by the druids. This must be it. On the table is a strange-looking stone that's giving off an odd, high-pitched noise. That must be the Isle of Wonders singing stone. Didn't the queens think that the beast had stolen it? On the table is a fleece made of gold. That fleece must belong to the winged ones. And they thought the Isle of Wonder had taken it. As Alexander looks at the objects on the table, he realizes the depth of the wazir's cunning. It must have been the wazir or an accomplice who stole that one thing most precious to each island, and then leaked rumors that one of the other islands was responsible. What did the wazir have to gain by causing the islands to hate one another? If I were to guess, he probably had his genie steal the shit. Alexander hears the sound of music coming from the east. It sounds somewhat classical, but... Oh no, it's wedding music. Alexander hears a door off the north hall open. Then, the sound of guard dog footsteps. The footsteps are headed this way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, a guard dog. Alexander's been seen. Whoops. Hey! You! You're not allowed down here! Uh, I, I think I'm a little lost. I, I was looking for the wedding and... 
Brrr, be quiet. The wizard told us to look out for a saboteur. My nose tells me that's you. Guards! Alexander watches helplessly as the guards descend upon him. I can snit for sabotage on you. Oof. You'll stay in here until we find out what the wizard wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander to his fate, locking the door noisily behind them. Alexander wonders how he'll get out of this one. Psst. Prince Alex? Gallo, what are you doing here? Never mind. Quick, before the guard dog patrol comes around again. How did you know I was... This is no place to talk, Alexander. Just trust that I know everything that goes on in this castle. Now, be more careful. If you get caught again, I don't know if I'll be able to get you out. <laughs> As he slowly walks away again. Let's uh, try and do this a little better this time, I suppose. Alexander hears a door. Fuck. You know what? Alexander. Alexander. I'll just click through the text and try this a little fat. Try it a little better this time. On the t mm. On the. Mm. On that. That. Alexander. Oh no. Al Run. Alexander hears the sound of a guard's foot. Wait, there are more footsteps approaching from the west. Alexander looks cautiously around the Grand Hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. You can save right here, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> the wedding music is coming from behind those A lot of this is the same as it was last time But there are going to be some changes Prince Alexander, here The wizier will have my head for allowing you within a mile of the royal wedding Since you are of noble birth I will give you five seconds to explain your presence here before killing you I warn you, it had better be good we already know what he wants. Uh, which one uses the letter? Alexander is carrying a letter taken from the wizard. Yeah, this is it. Wait! If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The wizard is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Saladin reads the letter, his sword points still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. Mm, this is treason. I'll have his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. But I did not. Have you no doubts of your own about our Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the wizier, especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy, even enthusiastic. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself.
the captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. I, Kasima, declare Abdul Al-Hazred as my lawful and beloved husband and king of this realm. King 